Opening faceoff, Michigan's Nick Rowlett, number 37. Jonathan Duhenio, 91 for Rutgers. And we're underway here today from Michigan, run by Rowlett. Let's look through those numbers earlier. Hugh Rowlett won 25 faceoffs in the first meeting against Rutgers, and he also had 16 ground balls to set Michigan's single game records in both of those categories, yet they lost by 10. Checked by Michael Cosgrove. Rutgers number eight in the country this season. Trying to get back to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2004. Take it away. Michigan on the run, shot scored, Zawada. Hail to the victors. It's a Wolverine team coming off a nasty loss at Penn State in overtime, a game they should have won. So this is a, a fine start. Jack Whitney off to the races. The team percentage this season, talking with the coaches and members of the program, they felt like, all right, maybe not 50%, but you know, definitely a little bit higher than 42, you would think. He's got a no, young and, defense, and defense in front of him. No, yeah. exactly. That's, that, that, you, you hit the nail on the head there, Mike. Myers. Working around the net. Feeds it in front. The cutter, the shot again, and a score. Count it. Bryce Clay. 2 0 Michigan. Playing the song again. Nice cut. I love the timing of this. You see Myers, grad student out of Gonzaga. Finds his main man, Bryce Clay, Grand Rapids, Michigan. I tell you that, I've been in that airport in Grand Rapids. The freshman with points per game. What about Rutgers? You feel like in now the 10 years that Brian Brecht has been there, they've had some really good seasons. They just haven't been able to crack into that NCAA tournament. Now you feel like this is going to be the year. I do, but they've got to finish. Finish there on the shot and the score by Sanguinetti for Rutgers. Tay Sanguinetti comes out of the substitution box with his hair on fire. The senior midi running on this second midfield group. And something happened with Michigan's defense where they didn't mark up, they didn't spot him. A late sub and Sanguinetti bada bing. Good matchup here for Michigan. Sawada, a piece of it there is cursed. And at the side of the cage too as well, reset the shot clock. Stevenson. Zach Massessa there on defense. Here's a shot and a score from Avery Myers. Myers puts it in for his 10th of the season. This is a terrific looking possession from Michigan. I tell you, patience, great ball movement to skip four. This team is a playoff team. Again, I'll just reemphasize, they got to finish. Give me something here on the, on the tail end of this. You know, don't, don't right. back your way into a seven and four record and put that playoff uh, status in jeopardy. So far shooting just one of nine in this first quarter coming out of the timeout. Charlotte Beatties has the pick there. Gets around it, looks in front, shot, score. Wow, the timeout pays off. Charlotte Beatties gets it to Sanguinetti who scores his second here today. Mike, you are so right. That, in a lot of ways, was an odd timeout. But it was a coach going all in on this possession. And when you've guys in gold bringing the heat today, 
Yeah, that was Love a lot of Chase right after it, got it back for his group, Myers now. And here's a shot, and that's by Jacob Jackson, and the save from Kirst. Great outlet as well. How about six that's saves all. for Kirst, and the goal from Connor Kirst, his brother, count it. Talked about the NASCAR. The early offense, the transition game, it starts with making stops. Watch the goaltender curse the right, he cross over. He's then tall. He's got a man in his face, but the lob pass over. That's like a Trevor Lawrence sitting in the pocket and delivering a strike on a post pattern. Rutgers run. Rutgers lacrosse 2021. Colin Kirst, the goalkeeper, was looking to transfer out of Lehigh. He committed first, then brought his brother with him. They play together, and he does it again. Connor Kirst with two in a row, just like that. And it's 4-3. to three. Rutgers has the lead. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. Dehenio. He's a scrapper. Looked like he kind of lost that initial draw. 5-8 is going to be on the scene for another five to eight years. How about the way Lehigh's playing this year, right? They're 9-0. Cole Curse has got 22 goals, second on the team. The flag planters, Christian Mule not letting his brother Cam steal the spotlight this weekend. The Mule's had quite a week. Cam with the game winner for Duke. Christian had 10 points. Oh, what an effort from Kieran Mullen somehow fires it home after taking shots and falling to the turf. 22 on the year for him. They've amped up, they've amped up their energy level. They've amped up the intensity. Ball on the carpet is good stick by Michigan, but then you're just standing around, nice hustle by Mullins. He picks his pocket, deals with the traffic and left-handed TV alum. He was sending me pictures all afternoon. There was, you know, social distance tailgating. But fans, 5,000 fans for Army, Navy, and Navy. Joe Ample gets the win. Spencer Reese was great between the pipes. Think about a Hopkins, uh, Hopkins-Maryland rivalry in Baltimore. And then big games across the landscape for these league races. That's what matters right now. Setting up, whether it's the America East, the CAA, the NEC, the Patriot League. Like, what are these league tournaments going to look like? And this weekend has a lot of impact. Zawada, count it. And Michigan needed that to stop that four-goal run for Rutgers as Josh Zawada connects his second today. I remember meeting Josh at the Under Armour senior game in Baltimore and watching him practice, and, and I was just taken back by this, the outlet, which is not a bad thing at all. His man is going to run it down, but the defender steps up field. Shot of scores. It's going to be a flag coming up on Michigan, and instead here is Brendan Kamish, who drives in and gets it to make it 6-4. to four. To Kamish. He's a, he's a demid. Former Detroit Mercy Rutgers transfer, Michigan native. Scored Kimmich. a goal against Penn State, scored goal a goal against Johns Hopkins. He could probably run an offensive shift, but because he's so athletic, there's a foul, <laughs> there's the foul. Yeah. Kamish, big, fast, strong, third year player, and now he's like a, look at that fold over at the end to increase it. Back to Sprock. Not block. Here it is again. Spock this time he scores on the rocket from the wing. Man up goal, 7 to 4. Penalty may have been released, but the defense was still spiraling out of control. Sprock's come to life lately, the junior from Dallas, Texas. Five points against Ohio State. He had four points against Maryland. You know, they keep it simple. Like, all those passes are eight yards. They're right on the money. They don't, they don't, they resist it. One goal in the first 12 minutes. Didn't really have too many you know, great sets there and shots on net. And then all of a sudden, bang, four goals in 3.05. They come back with back-to-back -back goals here. 
Mike, I gotta tell you, road games are different this year. You know, it's not, you're not the same. Wow. Zawada. Guess who? He's got three in the first half, and they're all different. One was a fast break, wing shot. This, this one, this kid, he's tried to wrap around left-handed, now he goes to his right hand. That's... Seen a lot of bounce passes lately. Yeah. You could see one later this afternoon on the ACC Network when the Notre Dame plays North Carolina. Even though it's a natural grass at Dorans Field, you'd be surprised if one of the Tar Heels has been working on a, on a bounce pass. That'll be a fun game, number two versus number four over on the ACC Network. From Notre Dame and UNC, here's a shot, a score again for Rutgers. Oh, that poor corner. That, that corner got torched. Andrew Kim. The zone offense. Step into a seam, draw two. Move it to the adjacent, keep it spinning. Defense is on the carousel, they're late. Here's your corner. Oh, this year with Kevin Corrigan and their four impact graduate transfers. It's a good deal for the student athlete, I gotta tell you. You get, a, you get, you get to go to a second place and get a graduate degree. Oh, look out again, scoring continues. It's Jake Bonomi and Michigan responds, staying right in it here. Now this one's headed towards the over out in the desert. This young man, Banami, sophomore, Northport, St. Anthony Strong, Strong Island, he was outstanding against the Blue Jays at Johns Hopkins having three goals. So they want to keep yeah. the fans in the sun and warm. Unfortunately, that, that puts us where we're shooting and you see the shadows. It's getting better as the game's gone, gone on. It's a beautiful yeah, facility. That was, well, it was Danager that got called for the hold there, a clear hold, man up for Michigan. One minute to go. All for one on the man up so far today. Turning, shooting, and scoring Michael Bain, and the freshman attackman converts. One goal game on the man up. I'll tell you, you ever been to a Michigan football game, they play that song in those yellow pom-poms. It is a sight to see 100,000 in the big house. This was a really, and then the defender sets it down the screen and then they play off of that. So they're constantly probing. Well, we had gone back to that earlier timeout, right, with about 30 seconds to the end of the first quarter. It was a three to one game. Oh, and now a shot and a score for Rutgers. They came out of that timeout, scored four straight goals. Now Connor Kirsch puts it in again. It's 9-7. They've hit the stride I got three now. goals. This is what I talked about earlier. If you watch tape on this young man, number one, the black, look at him, he's at 20 yards, steps into 15 or 16. He has routinely hit these shots this season. That's probably from the fans in attendance today. You can get a real good indicator of defensive communication. Great check by Gene Felix. Starting to see more of the fans coming back, right, Q? I mean, all over the nation, really. Another save from Kirikoff. Nice outlet. They've done it a few times today, and it happens again. Another goal. Score it from Michael Bain. Well, I tell you, this is ridiculous. This will give you chills. This will give you the tingles. You punish a bad shot. Goalie makes this easy stop. We're off to the races. Look at our breakout lanes. You got a guy coming out of the substitution box. How about that strike? 60 yards on the money. Balls in my stick. Keep oh, not today. Cursed matching up. Nine today, Q. Colin Curse with nine saves. Rutgers, the extra pass and the score.
Mullins. Ninth save, this graduate transfer out of Lehigh. Clean as a whistle, outlets to his goal line extended. Look at Rutgers run the field. Good angles. This is a tough play to get out of traffic. And then all of a sudden they get the numbers game because Michigan for commit to the structure and discipline of this Rutgers offense and then their playmakers within that structure. Yeah, I'm sure Obidis leads the team with 35 goals. And he's got the three assists today. He does have six shots. And that's a tenth save right there for Colin, Colin Kirst. And again, transition, Rutgers, and they score it again. And it's same deal, it's Mullins. What a that trick for him today. Look at him, look at him. He runs down the field 60 yards to thank and congratulate his teammate who threw him this dime. Watch this pass. 60 yards. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights. Yeah, pretty quick on the offer, and Myers puts it back in. Slide comes on Zawada. It's now Massessa that's defending him, the senior long stick movie. Shot clock, down to 10. Myers in front. Oh, what a point point from Jacob Jackson. And they get the rebound, and it's a score. Man, staying with it was Jackson. Second effort. Tall sophomore from Dallas. First shot, really, that's a, a brilliant save. And then he followed. Michigan down two, penalty coming up on Rutgers. Here we go. Three straight face-off wins here for Rowlett in Michigan. What do you like here now, Q, knowing they got the flag coming up on Rutgers? That, that? <laughs> yeah, Myers, count it. I mean, th this is, this is explosive, it's sudden. Chop, 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 boom. Right to left, I believe. Yeah. He's very good. He's one, he's one of my favorite goalies in the, in the country for a lot of reasons. His leadership of the defense, his demeanor and his poise, uh, he, he's, he's unbreakable, he's unshakable. He's been under assault at times in games this year. And this shot scored for Connor Kirst. Puts it a two goal advantage now for Rutgers. His brother gets it done at the other end. Okay, so this is from similar range than the Michigan shots. What's the difference? Look at the location. It's a change of levels. It's a high release for Villanova. He's been playing attack for this team from, from day one, and it's a really brilliant move by Coach Breck to keep him on the field. He ends up curling and playing up top a little bit in a midfield position. But uh, it, it's it's been it's been a good it's been a good mix. Myers scores six straight faceoff wins, and this time they take advantage of it as Myers makes it a one-goal game. Watch the pick behind the goal. Rutgers has struggled with this type of action all day. Two players run into each other. There's no support. If you can't play two-man games, if you can't play the pick-and-roll game defensively, yeah. yeah. They give him a reset. Curse must have gotten a piece of that at the top of his the stick. Post, yeah. Good. 
behind the net vein. Feeds a cutter, shot score! It's Clay, tied at 12. Game on. Keep your eye up top. What happens on the crease area? Oh, that's a cut, and the defender cho chooses to go around the traffic. Instead of playing that, working his how is 17th he play game it out? in the last three days. <laughs> he does an best awesome in the job. business. Love having Russ, yes, for sure. Here is Sprock. Worked around here to Connor Kirst. Makes a move, puts it on. Save Kirikov, the clean up, the rebound, score it. Connor Kirst, five today. Rutgers back in front. Rebounds are a big deal. Goaltenders, when you drill, when you take shots, focus on covering up your rebounds. Watch big Connor Kirst, again, a follow-up. Flips it into the top shelf. Rutgers by one. Now in back of the net. Up for Tyler Papa. Papa shoots. Flag down. Papa's a big boy. 6'3", 205. Left-handed jump shot. Oh yeah, at the end there, it's on High Kamish. and late, shooter's vulnerable. 44 right here. Yep. Back in the day, it's no big deal, but there's an emphasis now on hits that are after the ball's released, especially if they're to the head and neck area. Doors open. Yeah. For the maze and blue. Famous said it, he was tapping his chest as he was coming off, my bad. Well, does it translate to a goal? Unnecessary roughness. One minute extra man, Michigan. One for three on the man up today. One minute to go. Down one. The shot. That checked and redirected on its way in. Scoop back up, Wolverines have it. Bain. In front, Clay, couldn't gather it. It's loose. Flip the side, Clay's gonna pick it back up. Tell you, Michigan needs a timeout. They, 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 are, they are discombobulated. You gotta use your timeout there. Can't do it, and it's taken away. Zach Massessa, 25 seconds left. Timeout. Better position for an NCAA tournament berth regardless for their first ever since 2004. Full strength now. Clock reads 10 seconds. Ross Scott has it. Five nice seconds to go. Yep, and Rutgers will run it out and run their record to eight and two. What a sweep of Michigan this year. A lot tougher than the first time. It was a 10-goal win before. It's a one-goal win here today, 13-12. to 12.